Well, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Welcome to the Dream Labs. Dr. Contrast live here. And uh, before I begin, I just want to uh, maybe alert you to something here. I've been noticing in the last uh, two streams and so forth, there's a lot of banding across the uh, paper surface here. And I just want to make sure that uh, you understand. I've been trying to work with this uh, for the majority of the morning. We have a cable connection problem and so forth. We don't, we don't know quite yet what it is, but we'll get that resolved. So hopefully we'll work, be able to work through this. But uh, with that thought in mind, uh, let's begin the exercise here today. Uh, we're going to start to go into a phase two system of uh, the electric razors we were working on last week, just doing some very, uh, very quick, rapid ballpoint pen sketches to get some themes down. And as stated last week, uh, in fact, a week and a half or so ago, we started with an architectural program, going through a series of uh, what ifs and, um, and step one, step two, and three. Um, we ended that program from an architecture, then moved over to product design, and then uh, we're just going to wrap up the second phase today, taking a, a selection from the sketches we did last week on the razors, and pick one direction and just begin to fine tune and maybe do some variations on the theme prior to before we go into a final rendering uh, for the last series here. So I just picked a couple of sketches out here and the two places that we did last week. These are the, some of the sketches we did generate, and I thought it was interesting that we just went through a very rapid series of, as I said, ballpoint pen and add a little bit of media to it and so forth. To get a little bit of character, but um, I think it comes down to it um, that the selection I'm going to make her to work with, since it's a little bit more appropriate and proportionally correct, is this guy right in through here. So, um, with your permission, we're just going to take a look at that basic form and start to do another uh, series of uh, interesting little concept pieces based on that basic theme. So I'll start the, the whole process like we did last go around with just a nice little elevation study here. Let's, uh, let's, let's get this guy started. Let's come back in through here. Let's get the orientation correct and come back off of that head system. Rotate the paper just a bit. Just get, get started with a, a little bit of a, a concept here. There it is, that to that. Now let's bring that neck into here and just get that through. And notice it's very round and bulbous, so we can extend that just a bit more here and take that right on through here. And now, now there's a little bit of a tailor in this thing, so let's kind of take that, that jacket, so to speak, and run that right into that surface here. So that's going to be part of the, basically of the form here, just to kind of work with it, just nice and loose. I'm back going to get the crown of the head there put together. Come back underneath here and put a little bit more definition or detailing of the shape itself. Just a little elevation study here to get it started. Then we'll kind of just strike in some, some little concept sketches here about where the texture changes are going to be and run it right through the process itself. Just a nice, simple, very quick stain here. We have the side of the pencil to get that shape to work just a bit. Let that go. And come back in and just really hit some line weights here. Just get some of the character that, that shape is changing here. So that's where that brow is speaking. And let's kind of get a little side of pencil again and get that form to read through that side. Let's get this guy to roll over. A little more line waiting through here. Put a little bit of tone in this thing. The light source is over here, so that would mean, for example, we're going to just pull some real, some real tone work up into this one. Let it fade. Come back underneath this a little bit with some shadow on this guy, and then take that across there where that shadow is going to fall. And there it is. Into that form there. Run that through just a bit more. A little bit more line weight into this guy. And just enough of that little switch system here, so a little bit of a recess in there. So let's show that with the on-off switch, and then that little on-off switch is here. So just a nice elevation study here of what this head is going to look like. Then we've got the three shaver system up on top just to kind of put that form in. Roll through this. A little more texture on this side here. Just go through a nice series of what-ifs first, just kind of tone this in. Take it through the shape itself, and there we are. And add a little bit of texture in this thing. If we want to add some, some character or definition to it, just enough of it, like a co-mold system. Just put a little more of that into it. And let it fade just a bit. And again, just come back and throw just enough information to get that shape to read. There's like an elevation study on phase one. Just going through some really empathic, very quick little sketches here. Hey, hi, Chip. How are you? Uh, good to have you on board, Chip. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience of the screen here, but uh, again, yeah, rocket power shavers. Yeah, let's go. It's going to be fun stuff here. So I think I don't know if you caught the first few minutes here, but we're going back to this the studies we did last week, uh, Chip, and we picked that basic theme right there to work with as we go through the process here. So I'm just going to start with that and begin in some little facelift studies, like a phase two process here of what we're dealing with. So let's go back in again and just kind of go back and just pick this thing up just a bit and just see what happens with going through some variations on theme here. Let's kind of get that into place here and run that through. Now notice we had a jacket system here, so maybe we keep that a little bit more bulbous. And let's just go put that. Let's get that accent slide right through here. There it is. Let's kind of put that into place. Let's get that head in place here. Let's kind of trim that off just a bit. Get another element here. Let's take this and then right back into this. Maybe there's another element here. Let me turn this around just a bit here. 
a little longer with the form itself and then just come back and elongate this shape just come back in again and just remarry that form just another just another nice little change of pace here variation looking for a theme first before we go any further with this thing come back in and just maybe we kick this back just to touch and then roll this shape right back into the surface itself so it's more of that form right there so much more teardrop as opposed to being very round just kind of put a little bit of impact in this thing part of me that shift over Get a little bit of line weight study here. Let's kind of roll this into place. And again, just, just taking a minute here to refine some of the stuff now. A little bit of shadowing through here, where the head begins to finish the form out a little bit. The razor head itself, just, no, just really quick empathic stuff here. Let's go back to the side of pencil and run this right through the shape itself. A little more form to it. Let's go back in and add even another envelope on top of this, like another design line and like a mask of some sort. Let's take this into play. Kind of double that up, bring it back over again and roll that right through. Just a little bit more element here to kind of work with there. So that could be kind of neat. And maybe in that case, is that's where the on-off switch might be. That kind of gets buried in here. That goes back. Now let's put the same thing in, in the surface here. Let's tone this thing through. Stain it in first and pick up some of the side of the pencil and just get that shape to read a little bit more. A little more tone. A little more tone. And back to it again. And just round this out just a bit more. Yeah, it's softer. There it is. A little bit of return in that guy. A little warning light of some sort on off. Let you know when it's on and when it comes off and so forth. Let's bring this core in just a bit more. Take that right through the shape and lose it. Again, another little good, just, just quick pencil sketch on how to put this thing together. Just looking at variations on theme based on that one we're dealing with here. Let's go back in here just for a moment. Let's sharpen the stick a little bit. Again, just working in elevations. What, what ifs? Let me change the format here and go back to this. And really extend this thing. Real loosely here. Looking at variations on themes. Back into this thing. Now let's get that guy to kind of roll in here. Just roll that through. Let's take that shape, return it. And again, bring this forward just a bit more. So we've got now the envelope is up on top. So that kind of changes the format here. We kind of tone that back a bit more. Come back into this line weight here, run that through. Get that head to kind of roll in here. Run this through a little bit darker, a little bit more tone, so it's a lot softer. And let it escape just a bit here. Hit the offset to read a little bit more. Let's take this through here and maybe a little bit of access door on the back side of the shape itself for serviceability and battery or whatever it might be. Get that shape to read here. Let's run that through a little bit more. Get the heads up on top of this guy and there it is there and there. And again, just real loose little sketches here. Let's come back in again. Again, put a little bit of a texture change in this guy. It'll be a comb mold of some sort. And just let it fade. A little bit of a change of pace in there. So what do you think there, Chip? Making sense so far? Helping a lot? Uh, I mean, just to let me know what you think here. Just looking for searching to make some little revisions to that first form we did the other day on, um, I think it was last Friday or so, uh, probably last Thursday when we put together this first format of these razors and the like. So let's just kind of go back and put a couple more little thumbnails in here. Just little, real little, little, just gestures. Let's get this down here. Maybe it's more direct. More like so, underneath. Now maybe this wing comes in and goes the other way. Maybe we reverse the shroud just a bit and come back off the body side. And it does that. And then it bulbs back into itself here as it rotates out. Pardon me. Get the paper to work here for us. And a little, just a little vignette here in perspective about how this guy's going to work this. Really kind of loosely lay in some sketches here. Just some form. Get that down to a science here. Let's put that in place. That might be where the on-off switch might be. Let's get these razors in place, the shaving head. That's one to two and then three of them over the top here. Let's tone that in so we can see where we're going with it. Get a little bit more surface on top of this just to kind of let it fade. 
Yeah, light source is underneath here, so let's kind of tone that, get that to read in shadow, and then bring it right out of surface here. Let's kind of get that, that side of pencil to work again with this guy. And again, a little more bulbous in this thing. There's a little bit of recess in this too, so we can kind of cut that back just a bit. Right through the shape, just to just develop a little bit of perspective studies here. And what this thing does, yeah, yeah, and these look nice. They do look a bit beefy. Yeah, they're on the they're on the big side, so we're gonna kind of tail them back a little bit here. Just gonna go back in here and get this guy down. A little bit of surface work here. A little bit of surface through it. And again, a little bit of shadow over the top of this guy to get this thing to read. And again, let's do this. Another little thumbnail here. Extend it just a bit. Maybe this wraps over and forms a nice little surface on top here. Get that crown on the way there. There it is. A little bit of gesture here. A little bit of a tone change underneath. And of course, where the core is going to come through here, there it is the power cord, etc. A little bit of tone underneath this guy just to kind of get that neck to work a little bit for us here. There it is, into that radius. Down to this form and through here. Side of pencil back into it. And again, the razor head itself. There's one, two, and three. Just a little bit more outboard. There it is. A little reverse here. A little bit of a collar change here. Get that line to kind of run through here for us, a little bit more sway line in it, a bit of shadow, and again, take, to take that core right through this thing. And some real quick sketches here, just getting a look for shape and form. And how can we get this thing to read a little bit more, a little slimmer, a little bit more aggressive looking here? So let's kind of bring that on through. Let's put a little bit of tone back in this head here, and a little bit more of that impact up on top where those razor heads are. So there's a series of uh, maybe five little quick vignettes about how this whole thing, hey, Shadow, how you doing? I'm in the shave, Doc, it was something, Jeff Barry. <laughs> We're trying, how's that? Um, just looking at that basic thing we started with, which was this guy right here, looking at that as a form study, just to go back into it a little bit and maybe make some revisions here to find, the, if we can find our nice, simple resolve to the first one we're dealing with here. So let's just kind of do this. Sign it, and we'll just start another page here, just getting a little fresher with some of these sketches here. So there's there's phase one, we're on our way here. Now phase two, let's see what happens if we go back to that same basic view. Let's kind of open this up a bit here. Get that drive line through, begin to build that upper head on this thing. Let's take that little step here, bring that through, bring that on through. And again, this is going to get that axis to work first. It's going to turn this sideways and get that axis to work wrong. Now, this might be a little more of a forward lean, so we kind of come back and just take it, instead of being so vertical, put a nice lean like so. Get that shape to kind of read in there, just a little more surface in it. And then bring this on in. And again, let's take that shoulder right through this thing and just break it almost like a severe peak right there. So there's. And let's, let's run that through the shape. And there's the other side of it right there. That's just a little bit more of it. And there's my center line. It's a little bit more of a peak to this thing. That just stays captive. I mean, this gets a little more extensive here. Let's do this. Let's kind of bring that around here. And that's where the power cord might be. So let's kind of get this guy just a little bit of side of pencil. There's the cord itself. And there it is there. Let's get this shadow to work here. Let's get these surfaces in. One, two, and three. And as they float a little bit, let's kind of put another disc on top of those. 
and let's knock them out just so they're sitting in that whole shelf up on top here. Light source, get those discs to read a little bit. And again, right back through the form here. Let's get those lines to be a little more romantic. Just draw through this guy. Let's come back and get that softness in through here. Let's take a little bit of that side pencil on that far side. Let's get the highlight to run and then just tone this thing in. This is where the action of the change of surface is going to be right here. So let's get that down. Let's get that line to really thrust it. Separate the shapes. Again, shadow underneath here. Right back into that form, that shoulder. Into the shadow side here. Let's run that right on through here. Take that across. There's my peak. That little bright cap across the top, a little more reflective, so it's going a little deeper. And again, on this side, just a little touch, and we'll see that just a bit right there. So that's a pretty strong statement in terms of where the shapes are here. So let's see. Ah, uh, yes, I do that sometimes. Let's see. Hey, Chip, how you doing, man? Let's see. We got more questions here. What might that look like? Let's see. Um, got a good questions here. Um, how about a shaver that you don't have to hold? Yeah, there you go. That's not a bad idea either. You don't have to hold. That'd be kind of neat. What would that look like? Well, that's a good question. Let's get that down through here. A little more color in this thing. Just looking at basic forms here to kind of work with something that's a little more romantic. Let's just kind of do this. Let's put a cross across this. And let's get this into, into play here. There's my, there's my switch. It's going to go on and off. And again, to tell me where it is. And there it is there, and it's on off. And so there's a little form study here to kind of get this guy to read. And just another variation on the theme here. So there we are, Shadow. Uh, I was thinking like a hover shaver. <laughs> that would be interesting. So if you hovered over the top, what would normally that would look like here? Let's kind of go back again so we can get some kind of sort of resolve with this head on this thing. Let's kind of get this thing to really kind of float down through here. Let's kind of get axis change. And really slim this thing up. Just a nice series of gestures here. Now, maybe it goes from a pure round surface up on top down to a chisel at the base, which is kind of interesting. Let's put a little bit of cap on this guy. There we are. Just, just kind of slim things up a little bit here. Uh, where are we? I was thinking like, a, yay, there we go. Let's crown this back a little bit. Let's be real honest with this thing. Just a just simple series of shapes to work with here. Just let's let that pencil do the work for us here. Just ready running through it here. And again, a change of pace in through here. And then there's where the cord might be. So that comes out of that. A little more weight into this. Maybe a little bit of a cut line up on top for serviceability. And that has a little bit of a return to it, so it has that on to it. Now we're going to come back into this guy here. Let's change that center line because it does come down and roll over. Let's get these heads in. One, the two, and three. And just tan them in there. Just, just, just going to knock them down, get them in place. One, the two, and the three. Shadow underneath. A little more contact up on top. A little bit of recess here for power switch. On and off. 
a little more of a texture change here. Let's kind of define this upper just a bit more. through that form. Well, what do you think there, gang? So far, so good? Chip said, maybe a shaver that has a grip like a baseball instead of an L. Yeah, that, there you go. Let's give that a try. Let's see what happens here. We kind of put a variation on that, and it looks like the following here. What do you think, Chip? Something like that? Uh, having the sounds of a bubbling cauldron in the background, shadow sounds like the dock is brewing some pot. Hey, hey, what do you think, Chip? Is that kind of what you're looking at there? Kind of an interesting little format here. A little bit of a change of pace with this thing. Let's go back and maybe do a little elevation study of this thing. Maybe elongate it a little bit more. Maybe the head comes off of this. And it really kind of crowns out. And there's a little grip system back and through here. Maybe that tapers in and does that. This is where you grip it. And that comes off here. Just a little bit of a stilt here, just to kind of get that thing to read.
you get the idea of a beard. I'm gripping and jumping up around it here. What do you think? They don't shave since they have a beard. So, hey, all right, <clears throat> that this shape would be more efficient. Yeah, yeah, I think you might be right. It's a nice little round surface, and that guy could do the job for us. Shape might be correct here. Maybe it's more direct than just doing something like this, where you actually come back in and just be that honest with it. <clears throat> A little bit of an undercut. I'm going to change a pace here with the shaving head up on top. Roll that into the form itself. A little bit of shadow to it. It's going to be an interesting evolution there, Chip. Not bad. Come back and just put a little bit of shape in this guy. In the cord system, maybe a little bit of a cut line through here to that for serviceability of some sort, just to give it a little bit more interest to it. And not bad. And a little bit of shadow reverse in here. And then this this guy can come through with just maybe a little touch of this. So That's kind of interesting. Well, we just take this beauty and come back in and say it's basically this in section to this. And it rolls into that finger grip and comes out of itself. And then it comes out of itself there. There's that finger grip into that surface up on top. It's just interesting. That's, that's kind of a neat little approach here. Chip, what do you think? Making sense? Double the baseball in the extreme. Yeah, you can use that to bat around if the shape doesn't go right. So there we are. There's another phase two on this guy. So let's kind of, kind of let's kind of frame these in just a bit here. Kind of, kind of compose them. Put a bit of shroud in here, a little bit of a, a little bit of drop to them to kind of give it a little composition. And just a little bit of surface work to kind of distinguish it. And there it is. A little bit of softness in through here. composition piece here and we'll wrap it up here how's that so there's a second pass of just doing some little thumbnail sketches here on the what-ifs of um, putting together some shaving systems and processes here and the razor designs just basically the facelifting from that first pass we're at here uh, the end morning it's pretty warm in his office today, Chip. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's pretty warm. So here we go. Let's go to right another phase here. There's, there's, a, there's a second pass at him. Go back to something a little bit more traditional here for a moment. Let's, let's see if we can get this thing to kind of crank a little bit here. A little bit of an axis change. Let's kind of go back in through here and get this process to work. Let's, let's round that out. We'll take this shape right back into itself. Let's bulb this through just a bit. And add another line here, just kind of offset it just a bit in elevation. A bit of a change of pace down here for the actual cord itself to kind of be exposed through it. There it is. Let's kind of just tighten this down just a bit more so it's not so much of a loft. Razor heads up on top. And again, just a nice simple little gesture on shape here. A little graphic break. A little strong line of separation here. And 
little contour in this guy away from the light source let that form right back into it just really easy simple gesture shapes here I'm just looking for a, a theme to kind of dress or work with cord back into that into this backside line here let's take this up just a bit just move it into that form there and again just for what it's worth a little bit of texture change just to co mold it that's where the grip system might be actually might grip it like so not bad maybe another sketch here we'll kind of see what we can do with this guy to kind of eliminate some of the mass out of this thing here just a bit more there it is there just a little more co mold some softer material to work with just another little gesture to deal with here so um would work better let's see i love this design actually uh, that might yeah it's not a pretty it's pretty neat though you're talking about the spherical one there shadow or the, the baseball type that's pretty interesting yeah it is <clears throat> see if we can go back into it just a bit here and just kind of explore what that possibility might look like here there it is let's kind of come back again with this just an elevation there just kind of get the trumpet started here what do we do with this thing if we go around with it now, does that mean that we extend it just a bit here and then go back more, much more parabolic like that? And then we kind of cut into this thing and just round it out just a bit more. Maybe that's where the grip system is. That's interesting. Let's put a little shadow in this thing, put some surface into it. That rolls out of that. All right, that's kind of a neat little design trick. Maybe we bring that right back in. I think you guys are onto something here. This is kind of neat. Let's kind of tint this out a little bit. power cord what do you think another variation on theme here it's, it, it is interesting yes it is very interesting hey discord so we got any questions coming up yeah i love this design wonder that yeah it might it could function pretty nicely what if we took that same approach and started off with that baseball approach here or the disc itself and started to do this and we extended it
Interesting. Hmm, not bad. See, this is, it is interesting. Yeah, it's just a different way to look at this thing as far as grip is concerned. Maybe, uh, let me see if I can just kind of reorient this thing just a bit here. Let's see what happens if I do this. Let me go back to this again. Shaving head, roll that in. Kind of a conical shape coming into this very. Round surface up on top here. Let's put more emphasis in this line change here. That's where the grip is. Interesting. There you go. A little waterfall of series here. And there's maybe like a bar of blocks. I'm going to shave the movie of the bar of soap across here. Yeah, it's not bad either. Just more rectangular. Let's see what that does here. It's just going through some exploratory stuff here, going from one phase to another. I think just based on shape analysis, it might be a little difficult to kind of pull that off from a flat surface, but if you had something that was grippable and you could rotate it in your hand and let the shaving system be still on top to kind of move and be a little more maneuverable, might be a little less intimidating here. So let's see, we could add some jet engine. To play. Yes, a jet, there you go, jet engine, that guy. <laughs> so there's another pass that may be a possibility here, what that might look like in terms of being very linear. And uh, you know, again, let's try something here. Maybe it's just more of this. And that's just an elevation study. Of what that might look like. It's a very simple form study here. There's the actual shaving cap itself. 
and there's a recess for grip. You hold on to that guy and you get a little bit of recess in here. That has some potential to it. Simplified, keeps it nice and rectangular, slim. Let's look at another view here, just for what it's worth. It's gonna, it's gonna create some stuff back in through here. It's nice little round here. A little bit of tone to combine the sketches here. So there's another passage where you're looking at some different variations on theme here. I mean, just really moving away from the typical approach to being razor related. And maybe it's vertical, maybe it's about, uh, baseball type. You grip underneath here, and the thumb is in this side, the palm on the other side. Uh, again, a very plan view look at what that shape might look like with the shaving head kind of floating on top of that round surface itself. Who knows? It could be another offset like this where you actually grip it and so forth, and thumb on this side, hand on the other side, and you just, it's almost like a vertical approach to it. Um, or probably horizontal course to it. So there's another series here, third phase. Let's go back and look at one more pass here, and let's see if we can come up with something really kind of. Let's just try that that flat system look here. Look what that might look like here. So if we started there, and just built a little bit of a, a surface here, let's kind of work with this guy. Let's kind of block this in. It's a nice simple rectangular shape, but it's crown to it. Comes off of here. Little runner up on top. Now, like the other series, are we're coming back in. Let's put that another. Let's, let's, let's repeat that sketch we just did a moment ago. Let's put a little bit of roundness in this thing. Maybe it's that. So we get a little bit of softness to it. And there it is up front. Now we come up with this shape. Go into this section here, and then out of here. Building that shape. Tone of this thing. The bright accent ring around it. Reverse this just a bit, more surface to it. Let's taper it a bit more. Get rid of some of the mass on the body side itself, and that's that's the configuration we worked in here. And let's just kind of do this. A little bit of accent where that radius is. And there's the actual form. Now let's put where the light source is coming from. Let's kind of cast a shadow on this guy. Again, up on top, a little more impact on this thing. Let's take this beauty here and put a little bit of a backdrop in it. And that's that.
a little bit of a frame of reference here. Let's switch gears here for a second. Get those shaving heads up on place here. What do you think, guys? There's a little vertical there. What do you think, Terry? F1 shaver. Yeah, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? The Formula One shaver. Not bad at all. Maybe some wings on it to add the downforce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, let's try it again here. Let's go a little bit of side view here. Uh, let's go the other way here. Pardon me. Let's switch gears here for a second. Let's turn this upside down to get a little bit more line thrust in this thing. There's a little separation here, so let's make that happen. Let's come across with a little bit of brake line for serviceability. Let's come back in through here with a little pillbox for on and off. And now we might be getting somewhere with this whole shape. This is interesting how it all comes together. Now let's put a little bit of landing spot underneath here. And that's where the car might be. Again, let's get this razor system here. It's A, B, and C. Let's loft it.
There's another variation on theme right there, a little flatter look to it. That star shirt, yeah, it could also double as a tricolor. Yeah, that's not bad. Little head, little machine here. Let's go ahead and wrap it up with this. Hmm, interesting. We've come a long way from that first start there, gang. What do you think? A little soft insert on the body side here. A little bit of highlight going through it. Let's take that shape back in just a bit. That's kind of an interesting little form to work with. Take that razor back in. That's interesting. A little more form in this thing. Let's put that pill box in there for on off. So a little bit. Get the shadow in this guy. And there's a family of forms there, guys, that uh, kind of interesting start them from start to finish. It's a whole lot sleeker. I like it. Yeah, it's interesting how it just really kind of slims it all down a little bit. That's a good call, guys. Very interesting call indeed. So let's just kind of back this thing up a little bit here with another one of these. Let me sharpen a stick here and we'll get at it. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Fun stuff. We've been taking a real big evolution change here. And I think it's been very healthy. Good exercise. And I appreciate the feedback. Looking at the possible, you know, of, of, uh, you know the, the typical approach is just modifying the Remington series or the Naroko series, but doing your own version of this thing could be kind of nice. It's kind of got a little more line with in this guy. Now just just some little, very really, really quick, simple variations on theme make a huge difference.
And there you go. There's a nice family of forms right there, guys. It's been really a lot of fun. It's, um, let me think. What do you think? Um, those of you who are still tuning in and, uh, and looking at the process here, what do you think? Some uh, very different variations on theme here, which has been very, very helpful to me. That's been really cool. Let's backtrack these guys. Let's, let's see where we started here. Let's see. That's, that's that guy. We went to that guy. We started here. Based on the premise of last uh, Thursday's stream, we're doing this little series of maybe, uh, first it was architecture, and now it's product design. And uh, last uh, last uh, week we did a series of thumbnail sketches that looked like this, just some ballpoint uh, specials, for example, let's lay these out. This is where we started. This is two of four we did last week. Just kind of a different approach to some little thumbnail sketch work and the like. And um, uh, it's really interesting how it all comes together here. We started with some ballpoint pen, then we stated last week, well, maybe, maybe pick one direction and begin to modify it like we did with the architectural piece. So when that was all said and done, we went and picked this guy right here as the front runner to kind of go in and facelift and begin to move into different areas of, of design or maybe a different thinking process. So it was really a lot of fun to take this guy, and this is where we started today with the refinement. This is part two. What do we look like in elevation? A little bulbous yet, and, and making some variation and themes and changes and the like, and putting a little bit more sculpture into it, a little softening off of some sort. We started here with a very simple pass of uh, phase one, uh, pretty well honoring the shape we'd selected to begin with. Then the second step we went into was just getting in, again, a little bit more elongated, a little bit slimmer, some interesting things and taking place here. Then a good feedback coming from the audience was uh, try something that's more spherical or baseball type. Just a little bit on the, on the strange side here, but I think going back in and looking at some of the ways you grip this thing could be interesting and running a section through it with a little bit of core underneath could be very healthy. So that's a possibility of going to a very spherical look um, based on the, the, where we started as an evolution study. Then we went back into this. All of a sudden, it, it started to take on some real impact. It went back to a traditional look here. But looking at the very top piece right here, some of that area right in through there, begin to take that out of context and begin a real slim line, almost like a real compact razor type, looking at the plan view of this thing. An elevation and more of a, a side view, and then again, uh, a little perspective of that thing, and, and more of a flat surface. Uh, hey, thanks very much, Chip. Uh, appreciate you hanging on there. Dan. Have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you um, on uh, on Thursday. I've got a problem with them tomorrow schedule-wise, but we'll see you on Thursday to kind of wrap this thing up. So thanks, Chip. And then again, wrapping it up here, um, the last phase we did was moving into some more of this uh, variation on thing we did on the third series, more vertical. A little bit more flatter looking, so you're actually holding this thing up instead of having an angle up on top of the head here. So a little bit slower for a surface and a little bit quicker surface. Looking at getting that head up on top, it could be holding it upright. Could be very interesting. It's almost like a slab system here. So a lot of fun here, guys. I hope you had as much fun watching this as much as I had uh, creating them. Uh, again, variations on theme. Phase two, looking at facelifting the first pass of razors. We're going to come back in, for example, on Thursday and finish up a nice series of renders. I might pick a couple of these guys and do a nice uh, couple of color plates and marker pastel like we did for the architectural piece. So thank you so much for joining forces here today. And uh, if I've said something right, please tell me. If I've said something wrong, please tell me. I'm really looking forward to staying in touch with you all and I can be reached there at my uh, email address at jim at drcontrast.com. Feel free to drop me a note about what you think about the program and if you have any information for example or people who want to follow me uh, and then tag along. I'd love to have you be on board here for the uh, for the process we're working with again. Thank you uh, Shadow for joining forces. A lot of fun here today. Thanks for the input. Uh, some interesting stuff. Uh, inter very interesting things came about as a result of the input here from the uh, those of you viewing. So thank you. And uh, Again, if you have any interest in drawing programs, pass it on to your friends. Uh, that can be reached at drcontrast.com. That's my website for drawing information. And last but not least, as I sign off here today, I really appreciate the time involved, and I really mean this sincerely. It's always something I sign off with, and I think it's very important. Never forget to remember that dare to be great, because you are. Thanks very much, gang. Have a great day. And we'll, oh, one last announcement. Sorry. Um, because of a schedule conflict, I will not be able to go live tomorrow, but I'll be wrapping this program up on Thursday, this series up on Thursday from 2.30 to 3.30. So thank you very much. Take care and have a great evening and all the very best. Thank you. Bye-bye now.